Hey beautiful, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, Psychic Medium and Divine Channeler and this is the Pisces reading. Please bear in mind that all of my readings are timeless and you'll find the guidance that is right for you when you need to hear it, whether that is today, next week, next month. Trust in divine timing. Okay, so we're going to start with the Inner Child Tarot. I feel like for the extended we're probably going to do troubadour tarot but we'll play that bit by ear as we get there okay pisces what do you need to know do, 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 do. i feel like before i even start i feel like it's important to let you know that you are supported there's a lot of spiritual support around you if you're feeling that tickling in your hair that is just one of the signs they are giving you that they're with you it maybe feels a little bit lonely, a little bit like you're struggling to get to do what you would like because just that little bit of help would be nice. That little bit of help would help. And they want you to know that you are supported. They want you to know that they are there for you. So ask for the help you need. Allow yourself to be supported. It's okay to be supported. Okay. Okay, let's have a look what else you're facing. Okay. Alice in Wonderland. So it does feel like, I want to say, although you've got physical people around you, it is feeling a little lonely. And it would be really nice to have somebody going in the same direction as you, on the same page as you, and just gets you. Because there's an element of whoever's around you. And I know some people will get you, but I feel like the closest people around you aren't getting you, which is making you feel more lonely. And... You just want that person that's on the same page as you so you feel supported but also feel I want to say feel normal and I'm not saying you're not normal but because you feel like you don't fit in a little bit there's that energy of feeling a bit like on the outside looking into your life okay then we've got the child of swords so there is the element you've got to be honest you've got to be honest with yourself before you can have this situation it's important to be honest and allow your heart to speak to you it's important to know that it's okay to feel how you do it's okay to want change it's okay to follow your heart it's more than okay it's necessary okay then we've got the rapunzel card so i actually feel that there's probably a karmic situation going on here for you situation or person okay because not all karmic things are necessarily people relationships they could be work they could just be people in general around you learning your lessons but it feels like you are in a karmic situation some of you will be in those karmic relationships and it's important to be honest with yourself what you want and how you feel because until you're honest with yourself you can't be honest with others okay and get yourself out of the karmic situation if you if you're ignoring it if you're avoiding it and then and i feel like this is your karmic situation where you're like tied to your karmic situation but there is something better something wait, waiting on the sidelines for you but you're having to cut ties with this karmic situation and you can do it you're allowed to do it and you will do it 
But you have to be honest with yourself. Know that your spiritual support team are supporting you. And I would go as far to say that there's specific people that have passed over, close spirit people who have passed over from your life, whom you would go to for support, who you would go to for answers, guidance. I want to tell you that they're there they're supporting you and they're giving you their approval. Approval to break free, approval to move forwards. It feels like you've got to be honest. You've got to give yourself that permission. They are helping you. They are giving you permission. They're telling you it's okay to give yourself permission because it's waiting for you there. What you're actually wanting when you're honest with yourself, but you're avoiding and it's time to stop avoiding because it is waiting. Then we've got the child of hearts. They are waiting for you to walk up the path, but I actually feel you have been waiting for them, but you're the one that's been stopping it happening. So the wait is over. You can make the wait be over. They are there waiting for you. It is not your imagination. It is not your... You're not, you're not making up this connection. You're not making up how you feel about this person or how they feel about you. It is true. I feel like the waiting is on both sides, okay? And then we've got the Guardian of Wands. I want to say for some of you that the person that is waiting for you, there's maybe a distance or some other challenge to overcome to get to you. The world is a small place. And remember, you have the angels supporting you, okay? And any challenge, any obstacle can be overcome and this situation, this relationship will bring in about transformation. I feel it'll bring transformation for you in more ways than one. I feel it's going to be quite healing transformation for you. And it really is the start of living instead of existing. Because it's time to stop settling for less than you deserve. Give yourself permission to make those changes. Be honest with yourself. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to head over to the extended reading now to find out more information and clarification on this situation and anything else you need to know. If this is where you leave me, then thank you so very much for joining me. As always, it is a pleasure. I'm truly grateful to be able to support you on your journey. Please do me a massive favour and like and comment on the video. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Take care, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Namaste. Bye.